fish yellowtail is real similar to this, don't you? Pretty similar, just drifting baits back. Yeah. And, uh, keeping steady chum going out. Keep them there. Keeping their bellies happy, huh? Yep, keep them happy. Well, we're fishing on a sh old shrimp boat wreck here, Blair. Pretty broken up. There's only a few pieces left. Just the booms, all the metal stuff is left over. Looks like something jumped on that one. That him? Nah, it's just a bait, but it ain't bait. peeling off. Got a nervous bait. So you got mangroves and big kingfish here, huh? Yep. Maybe a cobia. Ooh, little cobia. Oh, that'd be nice. Uh oh. There he goes. There's that one. Ugh. Something on there. You say you got some big kings here, huh? There is indeed some large kings. Well, welcome to this episode of Addictive Fishing. If y'all tuned in last week, you got to see part one. If you didn't get to see part one, go to the YouTube channel at Addictive Fishing and uh, you can see part one. This is part two with Captain Chris Trossett. We're on our way down to the Dry Tortugas and uh, we're just fishing the spots he knows along the way. Well, now it feels like a kingfish. Woke up. Ooh. That'll burn your hand a little. <laughs> so you got some men in the big gray suits here too? Yep, a lot of little ones and uh, there's a couple extra larges that hang around here. No, in TV time, it's been a week, but for us, it's been an hour. And if y'all saw last week's show, <laughs> blackfin tuna one after the other, mixed in with a lot of the biggest bonita I've ever caught in my entire life. So my right arm right now is about, about wore out. That's a king. I'm thinking so. Oh yeah, good kingfish. Boom. Key West Smoker. Smoking your reel. <laughs> hey. Put that drag to the test. Back, 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 back. Slow and steady. Nice Ooh, one. Ooh, that's a big kingfish there, brother. Yes, sir. <laughs> he ain't done yet. He ain't done yet. I think he might have one or two left. When I was a kid, me and my dad used to go into the into Port Canaveral because they come in real close inside the port. Okay. And we fished our tails off for to get one of these things and we never could connect. Huh. We've had a couple that, that jumped on about this size, but they'd always bite the mullet in half and just miss them. That's just back back when I was learning how to catch these dudes. I don't know catch, how they catch any fish really. <laughs> I don't know the, how they miss those stingers sometimes. Oh, I know, it's man. Incredible. You see them jump up, and you see them grabbing that fish in their mouth. And bite it in two, come down in two pieces. Whoo. Are we fine to pick them or? Oh, yeah. I mean, you're going to make some smoked fish dip, right? Yep. That'd be some good smoked fish dip. That'd be some real good smoked fish dip. He is, it's gotta be fresh. Oh! oh! Hold the hook. I just say, that's that's the way the cookie crumbles. It happens. <laughs> Man, I thought he was so good too. Yeah, he, it looked like he was right in the corner. I think all, all those circles he was doing, it uh, just kind of wore it out. Twisted it out. Oh well, better luck next time on the Kingfish. We're gonna get re-rigged here and uh, see if we can hook you another one. In the meantime, we're gonna try to catch some big mangrove snapper. One of my favorite fish to take home to the table. <laughs> we'll be right back. 
I believe that's another smoker. I think so. Oh, I got one here too. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's some nasty stuff there, brother. <laughs> oh, that's the good stuff. <laughs> a little bit of slop. So is that the uh, stuff when I called you the other day, you say you're mixing up some nasty stuff? Oh yeah, it's the slop. What is it? Uh, a little bit of chum and a uh, sand mixture. And a little bit of Kevin chum? Hey, a little bit of Kevin chum. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's why I'm using the scoop <laughs> instead of my hands. <laughs> hey Blair, let's put another thready out. They've, uh, those kings have been whacking them. Sounds good to me. I'm here to fight some fish. <laughs> it don't matter if it's a snapper or a uh, kingfish. Got a nice lively one. that bale open? Uh, let's leave it shut. We had it shut. That last one. Drop some more line out here. Flat line. Oh. I believe that's another smoker. I think so. Oh, I got one here too. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Did you loosen this drag up some? I did. You can tighten it a little bit if you want. Just for that first run, we want it pretty loose. Well, welcome back, folks. What Captain Chris has got us doing now, we're drifting smoke. <laughs> Hang on a minute. <laughs> All that line. All right, what Captain Chris has got us doing now, we're drifting back chunk baits with the current back to that wreck he was talking about. And we're leaving a live bait out on the big rod here in search of what we got on the end of the line right now, which is a big smoker king. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, get ready, he's probably gonna do it. Jeez. Jeez. I had to I had to put the heat on him there a little bit. <laughs> I got a good look at him. He's a big kingfish. This is such a killer line to use because if you can see it's it's every 25 feet it changes color and it spins metered line and I tell you what, I'm gonna start using this stuff a lot more. So you know how many times that changed color just then? That was 25 feet, 25 feet, 25 feet, so. And it was about that quick. Chris, what's your normal size kingfish off this spot? Uh, anywhere from 20 to 45 pounds. Really uh, a big variation, but a lot of bigger ones. Smoking. You sure that ain't a wahoo? <laughs> I ain't never caught one here, but it's hey, first for everything, I guess. Stranger things have happened on this show. All Ooh. right. <laughs> and how many of these runs do they do? <laughs> this size fish, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> Did you get a look at him? I saw a big flash down there. It was, it's a nice fish. <laughs> What's your biggest you caught off of here? Off this wreck, uh, about 45 pounds. Yeah. If we get on the Atlantic side, we'll get some bigger ones, 50, 55. That's a monster kingfish. Caught a couple 50s earlier this year. They were nearly spooled me twice. <laughs> that one there was close twice. It was pretty close there. There he is right here. That's a slob. That is a slobber there. Oh yeah, look at that kingfish. Yeah. Well sir, that's probably my biggest kingfish ever. That's a butte right there. Woo! Smoke fish did for everybody. That is a monster. He's 30s. 32, 33. 
How'd you like to get your finger in there? <laughs> or a toe? No. To clean that bad boy off. See if I can get a hold of this guy here. Get this gaff at him for you. All right, go ahead. Ooh. Watch keep, your toes. Keep your fingers away from that mouth. <laughs> oh. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> was was oh, that close man. or what? I'm glad we got him in the boat. <laughs> he feels more than 30. Well, that one right there is what you call a real kingfish. That's what you come to Key West for right there. Big fish, pull a lot of drag, test your tackle. Ugh. We got a little and sunshine make you now. say, Lord, he's got some sharp teeth. That's what I'm talking Chris. about, buddy. That's awesome, bro. <laughs> hey, y'all stay tuned. We're going to be right back with some more addictive fishing. Captain Chris Trossett on a beautiful day in the Keys, brother. Uh oh, fish. That's a real one. I saw that. Hey Chris, what depth of water are we fishing in here? Uh, we're at about 80 feet. We're uh, free lining some chunk baits back. Just cut up Mahara. Uh, hoping these mangroves will pick it up on the fall. And what else you get off of here? Uh, we get some kings here, cobia. We've seen permit here. Get some nice mangies and uh, occasional yellowtail. Cool beans, some mangies, huh? <laughs> Everybody's got their own name for their fish. Mine just happened to be Mogan's growing up. And Chris grew up here in Key West, so he can call him anything he wants to. We got a pretty good chum slit going on now. You can really see it in these waves. Oh yeah, everything's gonna find us here. What I mean by the chum slick is if y'all can see on top of the water out there, it's slicker than everywhere else. It's all the oil that's coming out of the chum bag down there. Every time the boat goes up and down, it kind of shakes itself. Every once in a while, you'll see us reach over and grab it and give it a shake. But what that's doing is putting little tiny bits of fish in the water all the way back, and that brings the fish right to the back of the boat. Fish. That's a real one. That looks like a better fish, Blair. Yeah, it's got a little more weight to it. Hopefully we can get it up before the Volkswagen gets a hold of it. Yeah, we did. I think that is the targeted species, baby! All right, to date, that's number two. That's my biggest mangrove to date. My favorite snapper. My favorite snapper right there. I like it when you can't get your hand around them. Woo, you gotta have a good one to do that. <laughs> In the knot. Would you like that one to get a hold of you? No. <laughs> Have you ever had one of them little ones get a hold of you unhooking them? Yeah. They go <laughs> and they snag it and they don't like to let go. Here you go. Nice. Because those teeth will do some damage. Okay? Yeah. That's a nice one. That is a chunk of fish right there. We can do a few of those. I know I know one lady back in Cocoa Beach named Linda Wiggins <laughs> that loves to eat happy. these more than I do. <laughs> that one is a beauty right there. That was the targeted species on this spot. I tell you, with all these white caps going right now, I am glad we're in a 62 Viking that says Starbright on the back of it because it would be real rough in anything a little smaller. On the way to the Tortugas. Y'all stay tuned. We'll be right back with some more addictive fishing. Chris Trossett and some beautiful mangrove snapper. I wonder if Bill Dance had lit that one. <laughs> Rig it right by Wright and Miguel. On today's Rig It Right segment, I'm going to show you what Captain Chris had us throwing down in the dry tortugas. You know, same scenario, we're back behind a shrimp boat, sitting there chumming up, all kinds of fish. You never know what's going to come up in your chum slick. Just an absolute plethora of fish. It's only been one hour our time, but it's been a whole week for y'all. And when I say a plethora of fish, we used a plethora of rods too. We used every rod in the whole lineup of the Flats Blue. The big kingfish, 
came on the new seven foot jig and stick. This is the offshore style. And uh, had it rigged with a 5,000 size Sabalos reel. And once again, had that meter colored line on there. And the reason I like to use that meter color line, every 25 feet, this line is gonna change color. So you pretty much can judge how far away that fish is when you're bringing him back to the boat. Had it rigged with 60 pound test Seaguar fluorocarbon. And Seaguar's the best out there against the abrasion resistance. The Kingfish absolutely put this rod right here through a workout. Had the eight footer going on the big mangrove snapper. Hope y'all enjoyed that one. That happened to be my biggest mangrove snapper ever. And another first on the show, brought out the conventional jigging rod. And I tell you what, all you're doing right there is dropping it all the way down to the bottom, bring it up about three feet off the bottom and hang on. Had it rigged with 60 pound test fins wind tamer. 60 pound test cigar fluorocarbon using a six ounce sinker just to get it down really quick. So, you know, there was a ton of fish around there, the big giant bonitas. You had to get that bait down real quick, but uh, y'all make sure you stay tuned because this rod here gets stretched to the max. Remember one thing though, every season starts right here at Dick's. Rig It Right by Wright and Miguel. Uh oh. All right, Chris, we're gonna see what's on the bottom down here this time. See if we can get us a grown one. What's the, uh, what's the bottom structure like down here? Uh, we're sitting in about 90 feet of water just off the edge of a reef. No, uh, we're chumming here. We're drifting back for the yellow tails. Uh, dropping some baits down for the grouper. They're lurking underneath that school. There's also a lot of uh, bonitas and kingfish swimming around as well. So a lot of life here. Oh, there he just realized he was hooked. Come on up, baby. Oh, got a love group for season. Yeah, baby, look at that one. That ain't no grouper. That's, That's the nice. biggest mutton snapper I've ever caught. That's a nice one, Blair. Brother, you didn't tell me we had these here. To date, that has got to be my largest. I figured I'd oh, save this one to surprise you with. Look at that fish. Yeah. Awesome, dude. Mutton snapper. Ain't that a pretty one? He's got a spot like a redfish on him, too. Yep, that dot is a telltale sign of the mutton. Well, that one is a beauty, baby. That one right there, oh, what a snapper. That'll taste good. I think that'll, that'll taste, taste good. good. Well, we're gonna put this guy in the box. Talk a little bit about Chris here. Chris is a captain down here in Key West who'll bring you out of here to do this stuff anytime you wanna come and book him to do it. What's your website? It's uh, www. ChrisTrossett.com. Come down here and book him, ChrisTrossett.com. Don't forget that one. He is a heck of a captain down here. I want to say thanks to everybody that made this possible. Captain Pete Dornow up there, Greg Dornow, Bill Lindsay, Mario, and Kevin Cote. Hey, without these guys and Starbright crew, this trip wouldn't have happened. And thanks to the Weston, too. We haven't stayed there yet, but uh, we'll be there tonight. They put us up at a great place there. Till next week. Can't say much else, man. It's been an awesome, awesome trip. Awesome, Definitely buddy. come down here and book this guy because you will be going home with sore arms, I'll guarantee it. And uh, that about wraps it up. Don't forget about the website, addictedfishing.com. Go to our Google Plus site. Like I said before, you know, everybody's got that favorite picture of their Mogan on their phone. Show us your Mogan. We'll see you next week. Check out more footage from this show by logging on to addictedfishing.com for outtakes and bloopers. Oh, there's it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That is a chunk of fish right there. <sighs> oh! Otherwise known as a canal tuna. Oh!